Chief Justices of the United States of America. John Jay was a delegate from New York. He was born in New York City December 12, 1745. He was appointed the first Chief Justice of the United States by President Washington on September 26, 1789, and he served until June 29, 1795 when he resigned. He died May 17, 1829. John Rutledge, born September 17, 1739. He was the first governor of South Carolina following the signing of the Declaration of Independence. He was one to sign the United States Constitution. He was also the second Chief Justice of the court from July to December 1795. He died on July 23, 1800. Oliver Ellsworth, born April 29, 1745, was a drafter of the United States Constitution and was also revolutionary against British rule. He was the third Chief Justice of the United States, serving from March 1796 to December 1800, nominated by George Washington. He died on November 26, 1807. John Marshall was the fourth Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court. He served in the United States House of Representatives as well. Marshall was Chief Justice of the United States, serving from February 4, 1801 until his death in 1835. Marshall was appointed by John Adams. Appointed by Andrew Jackson, Roger Brooke Tony, born in March 17, 1777, was the 12th United States Attorney in General. He was also the 5th Chief Justice of the United States. He was in office from 1836 until his death in 1864. During the Civil War era, Salmon Portland Chase was appointed by President Abraham Lincoln to her to serve as the Chief Justice of the United States. Not only that, but he was also the U.S. Senator from Ohio and Governor of Ohio. He also served as the U.S. Treasury Secretary under the President. Chase was born on January 13, 1808, and he served as Chief Justice of the United States until his death in May 7, 1873. Morrison Remick Waite was appointed by Ulysses S. Grant to be the 7th Chief Justice of the United States. He was born on November 29, 1816, and served as the Chief Justice until his death in March 23, 1888. President Grover Cleveland nominated Melville Weston Fuller to be the 8th Chief Justice of the United States of America. He was in office October 8, 1888 through July 4, 1910, which was his death. He was born February 11, 1833. Edward Douglas White was nominated by William Howard Taft to be the ninth Chief Justice of the United States. He was also the United States Senator, Jurist, and Associate Justice of the United Sup States Supreme Court. He was born on November 3, 1845 and served as Chief Justice in December 19, 1910 through May 19, 1921. William Howard Taft was very involved in the political lifestyle throughout his life. Among the many things that he has done was be the 27th President of the United States and he was also the 10th Chief Justice of the United States nominated by Warren G. Harding. He was in office as Chief Justice on July 11, 1921 through February 3, 1930. He was in office as President 
March 4, 1909 through March 4, 1913. Charles Evans Hughes, Sr. was very involved with the political life as well. He was a lawyer and Republican politician from the state of New York. He served as Governor of New York, United States Secretary of State, Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States, and of course the 11th Chief Justice of the United States. He was nominated by Herbert Hoover and was in office as Chief Justice from February 24, 1930 through June 30, 1941. He was born on April 11, 1862 and died on August 27, 1948. Harlan Fiske Stone was nominated by Franklin Delano Roosevelt to be the 12th Chief Justice of the United States. He also served as the Dean of Columbia Law School, was appointed as the 52nd Attorney General of the United States, and also was an Associate Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court. He was in office as Chief Justice on July 3, 1941 through April 22, 1946. Throughout his life, Frederick Moore Vincent had the opportunity to work in all three branches of the United States government. He was an elected member of the United States House of Representatives. He was the Secretary of Treasury under President Harry Truman. And he was the 13th Chief Justice of the United States, appointed by President Truman as well. He served as Chief Justice in June 24, 1946, through his death, September 8, 1953. Earl Warren was the 14th Chief Justice of the United States, nominated by Dwight Eisenhower. Warren served as the Attorney General of California and as the District Attorney, California. He was born on March 19, 1891, and died July 9, 1974. He served as Chief Justice on October 5, 1953 through June 23, 1969. Warren Earl Berger was in office June 23, 1969 through September 26, 1986, as 15th Chief Justice of the United States. He was considered a very conservative Chief Justice, but nonetheless delivered a variety of different decisions on abortion, religious establishment, desegregation, and capital punishment. He was born on September 17, 1907, and died on June 25, 1995. William Hubbs Rehnquist served as the 16th Chief Justice of the United States on September 26, 1986 through September 3, 2005. He was nominated by Ronald Reagan. Before this position, he served as an American lawyer, jurist, and associate justice. He was born on October 1st, 1924, and his recent death on September 3rd, 2005, brought our final Chief Justice, who is John Glover Roberts Jr., who was nominated by George W. Bush. He assumed office on September 29, 2005. He is considered to lean t more towards the conservative side of the court and has held positions in Republican administrations prior to being the Chief Justice. He was born January 27, 1955 and is currently in office today. This concludes the presentation. A special thanks goes to wikipedia.com for pictures and facts. Video made by Ksenia Emilianova.